Oh, welcome, welcome here in this universe, sharing inquiry together. Thank you. I pass it to you, Tanya. Thank you. Thank you, Marcus. It's so wonderful to be here with you all. So who are we? And what do we long? We're longing for remembrance of the love and the light that lives within. We're longing for a reunion with ourselves. We're longing for wholeness. We're longing for laughter. For deep joy. That is not something we obtain. It's the essence of who we are. So remembering coming back to wholeness, renew, reunion of all of uh, ourselves within is the human journey. The Delphi Oracle back in Greece said it a long time ago, know thyself. And in this world, that is always pointing arrows this way and that way, promising gratification, promising that if we do the external thing, we will be fine. We notice this very gross mater materialistic world and Many of you, if not all of you, have come to realize that that which you are truly seeking is not found outside. It is found in the depths of the temple within. So we gather we gather those of us that have this knowing, this intuition, we gather and pause from that external pushing. So we are invited to bring our gaze, our loving gaze within ourselves and begin and begin the epic the adventure of all our adventures, which is to discover our inner land and return to wholeness. So yes, we have to take a, bra a brave. It's required that we are brave and we step forward beyond the usual knowing. And trust the jump of this vast landscape that is waiting for us. You know, that it's kind of the essence of, of what we are here to do, to learn technology, to learn precise, deep medicine in the form of methods to discover ourselves again and to complete the hero's journey. We leave ourselves to come back to ourselves. So we use methodologies that support the journey in a very precise, pristine, 
powerful way. These methods are tried and true, and they have come from the synthesis, the distilled synthesis of vast ancient knowledge and culture with the experience of this present form that we created at Innerland. So yes, we use IBC, inquiry-based coaching. We use parts work in a different way, but inspired in IFS, although it has a different form in the way we use it at Innerland. And we're now engaging in the true alchemy of love. So this is an invitation to deliciously meet yourself again, to dissolve the density of our human experience that manifests in fear. So we can bring the alchemy of zero space and release the traumas, release the burden, release the pain of all the confused aspects of ourselves that make us forget. So we're here to liberate, to bring full presence and awareness to that flame, to that point, to that zero space within. to remember the truth of expansive love and to be in love with truth. To create a new relationship with our truth and create from there, get the clarity of what are the clear next steps so we can fly free and meet this, be in this sacred walk of living our inner freedom. So the paradox is that we come from this home to, to, to leave the home and come back to the home renewed and changed with fresh, clear water of wisdom internal to express and share and be used well by life. That we may walk this journey of knowing ourselves to serve each in our own perfect, unique, way. We serve by how we greet anyone on the street, in the market. We serve by the jobs we have. We serve by how we love. So the mission is to recognize and bring to our awareness all the fear so it could be alchemized into expansive, unconditional love and empowerment and service so we may be used by life well. So our job is to meet with so much love and so much compassion. Those parts that perhaps we have forgotten or have not visited often. Marcus in our meditation spoke of the parts inside of us. Yes. And yes, we have these parts inside of us that need our care and attention. And if any of you is new to parts work, 
the basic principle to understand is that our human experiences that create big traumas or little traumas over time make parts of us tight. And these parts are put in a corner of our mind and our consciousness to survive and to keep being able to move forward. And then with different circumstances or experiences, they are triggered again. And the triggering is welcomed and thanked because it shows us the encapsulated fear that needs to be seen, held, and liberated. So truly what we are doing here is the alchemy of alchemies. It is to be aligned with our light, with our zero space, so deeply and completely that we flow with grace in all the ways we're asked to do. Mm -hmm. So when we look at, when we look at what we are doing, we're really doing soul integration, energy integration of all our crystallized fearful parts that we may be aware or not fully aware of yet. We may be aware or not fully aware of them yet. So in order to bring this light of awareness, we create, we come in circle together to practice the methods over time so they are integrated in our wisdom, in our awareness. And we take the torch of our truth forward. So what does this practice of self-discovery require? need. It requires sustained holding of what needs to be seen, sustained holding of the practice of the method, sustained showing up over and over again in circle. So that this becomes a second nature in us and can be automatically alchemized. What does that mean, alchemize? It means that we turn confusion, pain, fear, anxiety, depression, anger, nervousness, hesitation, apprehension, into gold, into gratitude into a sword of our inner truth that then we carry forward to ignite that in others. And this brings greater and greater and greater peace within. This brings the happiness and joy that many seek <clears throat> that is found in the delicious embrace of our own light. And then your response to situations, your response to circumstances changes. You use it as more lead to turn into gold with the precise method that is, that is now known. So alchemy is turning traditionally lead or something dark into gold. And it needs three things. It needs the disposition, the hunger for that wholeness the circle of fellow 
soul family people that support us and it needs the method. So the immersions that I started to give since 2011 have touched and changed profoundly the lives of hundreds of people, maybe thousands, I don't know at this point because of the sharing that they themselves bring and how it's been delivered because they are cauldron. A cauldron is this place of fire that is created consciously to sustain the alchemy of turning lead into gold. This changes, like I said, how we respond to life's challenges. And one of them, one example of how that response changes is that we no longer feel victimized. We do not feel victims of our lives. We do not feel victims of our relationships. Because you now have the ability to see medicine everywhere. Medicine that you use for your golden temple within you can transmute it so this produces like i said soul integration a level of self-love self-companionship where saying that you are alone or lonely does not make sense anymore You start to feel the grace of the manifestation of flow, of ease. And it, it's almost like a timeless space. There's no space and time. It's just there is an inner knowing that all is well. And no matter what is happening in the outer. We see continuous opportunities for growth. And we feel them because they create tension or stress. And we have the ability to bring love and light in them. The result is that we do not live life in angst. We live life gently, kindly, enthusiastically empowered. We have a sense, a felt sense of being held. Yes. So <clears throat> the body usually is a fantastic vehicle to show us pain, not only physical pain, emotional pain, mental pain, suffering. Sometimes the body, I say pain because it can come as a tension or as a tightness. I usually feel it, for example, in my gut. Some of my clients feel it in their shoulders, some in their head. Some have physical manifestations all the time. So how to be with this body in its painful process? is one of the key principles of what we will learn in the immersion starting in May. And we will give a little bit in, this, in these sessions.
So the alchemical process of the heart goes through three stages. Dissolution, dissolving, coagulation, and crystallization. What was the second? Coagulation. Dis dissolu dissolution, dissolving, coagulation, and crystallization. Dissolving, coagulation, and crystallization. These stages are going to be, we're going to dive in them with a lot of detail and in a very personal way through in the immersion. And also I am going to give an online course of alchemy of the heart that is 12 sessions, but in Europe, it would be at 3 a.m. from 3 to 5 a.m which for many of you can be a fantastic hour because many of you perhaps get up and meditate at that time. So you would have the pristine, clear, quiet mind of that time. Um, and in them, the first stage of this dissolving is how we will learn there how to be somatically and in our bodies with the pain and suffering. It doesn't matter what kind. So that our internal world can find finally a safe place to show us in detail how it experiences pain and suffering. And when was this created? And what personal experience led us to it? It is so important to not do inquiry in this moment with our minds to try to push it, fix it, or solve it. IBC or parts work. There needs to be first a pure somatic process of experiencing that has particular ways of positioning the body, breathing, and allowing. Dissolving is about understanding with the pain that the that who we are conceptually needs to die over and over and over. We cannot want expansion of love and liberation from fear and keep our old same models of being in the world the same. So if you want to do this and keep your status quo, exactly as you are, I suggest you drop from this webinar right now and go see Netflix or whatever you need to do. If you want to have this practice and keep everything the same, this is not for you. So be kind to yourself and leave and be happy.
this really requires a profound hunger for freedom okay. and love and expansion. So really ask. Really ask if you are done with suffering the way that you do. If you are done with the repetitive ways of how you deal with your human experience, with your painful human experience. Because only when we are done, we open our minds to something new. Otherwise, it's just one more thing we heard that it was interesting. We need to be really clear that how we go about our pain and suffering is not what we want. Then we can make the space for something new. Only then. Otherwise, we keep staying full of what we know. And nothing new can enter. So this is the beauty and the gift of suffering. Suffering exists, so we wake up to what is no longer of service to us. And grace and love give us opportunities in many ways, in many ways and shapes and forms to have rebirths an alchemization of our being. So it's, it's a beautiful thing to use suffering well. This is the alchemy of alchemists, to learn to use suffering well. And this is what I want to support you with. You deserve to remember your wholeness. You deserve to live from that wholeness and that laughter and the joy that comes within that. And it requires our presence, our loving presence and attention fully and completely.
So we really start to live life in celebration of each and every day. So we understand that is an absolute gift to be alive and to grow and to expand moment to moment. And share this loving with the world. If what you know so far, even if you know IBC, even if you know parts work, even if you know a little bit of alchemy of the heart, has not brought a very, very, very significant difference to how you relate to suffering, it only means that we need to go deeper and wider and slower because the body will show us all the ways that we lie to ourselves. And this is the adventure. This is the invitation. This is the invitation. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter what you've practiced. If there's still a, something about how you are suffering that you are genuinely curious about, it's only meaning that there is more depth to be found within. There's more gold to be alchemized in your heart. And that is very exciting. And that is the adventure of this life. All the rest comes second to that. Because all the rest will respond to that alchemical process within. So in short, identifying fear in all its forms. Elevating love to be used well. For me, what brought me to this course of alchemy of the heart and what and what will bring me to Zurich in May to start the immersion. It was, it is the profound depths that I've now found after the most painful year of my life. I have been practicing and relating to some form of spiritual or personal transformation since I'm 17 years old. And last year, I was blessed to have met the deepest, widest pain of dissolving I have ever known. And all I can say is that that brought me to create what I want to share with you in a, on a new level that I have not been, have not met before. In this moment, 
all I can say to that deep pain and suffering is grat gratitude, is thank you. On my knees, thank you. It showed me what was left. What, a, what assumptions, attachments I had left that was were holding me back to fully trusting my internal light more than ever. All, all the form of my human experience changed as in my in my in, in the in my home that I lived in, in my identity as a mother, in my identity as a partner, in my identity as a facilitator, there was so much more dissolving to do. So much elevated love to be found. That has blown me away in gratitude. And it is my absolute passion to support anyone that's interested in finding the same. It is why I exist. So if anything that I have said resonates with you, all I can tell you is how exciting. What an adventure. The adventure of adventures of adventures. to learn, to remember the depths of love, the depths of the love we carry in ourselves and how needed, perhaps more than ever, that medicine needs us in the world. The world needs that medicine of elevated, expansive love more than ever. And you're here for a reason. And maybe you don't remember, but you said yes to that mission a long time ago. And this is why we find our soul family, to create these vortexes, these circles of light, of wholeness and remembering and laughter and joy. So they may explode as geysers in your world. And everyone around you can receive your medicine. Your golden clarity. Fierce, fearless presence. Your truth. Mm-hmm. <laughs>